Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I just filmed a YouTube video yesterday, but I'm going to start posting more frequently. Just try to get into a more frequent film schedule. So today I'm going to be doing a summer kind of dewy look. Because I know a lot of people in the summer don't wear a lot of makeup or just don't wear any at all. So, yeah. I'm sorry for yesterday's video that didn't have a lot of sound because the sound kind of cut out. So I'm trying a new technique by shutting off my notifications, kind of putting my phone on like do not disturb or airplane mode. So I'm going to see if that works out well. So let's just hop right into the video. So I'm going to use the Tatcha Water Cream Moisturizer. I think this will give us a, give a more dewy look. Instead of using like a facial primer. So I don't like digging my nails into this, but I'm going to. So now that we're moisturized, I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Cream. And it's in the shade Medium Tan. So I'm just going to dampen my beauty lightly. And I'm just going to apply the foundation this is not like a full coverage foundation it's just to give a little cover like a little coverage not a lot so it's not going to be like a full coverage foundation like my uh Fenty Beauty one is so just put it where you want me would put the foundation just trying to get most hair out of the way as possible. So I'm just gonna just blend that in. Blend it down the neck. And this is to give you some coverage, but not a lot. And it also has SPF in it. It has SPF 20, which is really nice. So, I don't have to be about putting uh, sunscreen on. But you should still put the sunscreen on either way. Okay, now that that's blended in. I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer in the shade Warm Fair. Warm Fair. Well, it's, the color's fair, it's just a warm tone color. I'm just putting that into my eye. So, grab all the bags that I have. My bags are Prada. Down the nose, keep the bow, forehead. And I'm going to take that beauty blender and just blend in that concealer. So now the skin is looking hella dewy and super glowy. Okay, 
Okay, now that the concealer is there, I'm gonna put a little powder on and I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild uh, Contour Palette. And this is in the shade Dolce de Leche. And I'm gonna take this powder brush from Urban Studio, just to see a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna dip into that banana powder. <sighs> that banana powder right there. And I'm putting that where I put the concealer. Because I still wanna set, but only where you put the concealer. So, why did I do that? <sighs> I'm not putting like powder all over our face. Because we still want to remain that dewy look. And if we put powder over it, it's just going to mattify that. So I'm going to take the bronzer in here. It's like kind of like a warm tone bronzer, which works well with my skin tone. Maybe, I think. Yeah, it's a warm tone bronzer. And then, uh, oh, my hair is pulling. She, so. It's going to lightly bronze. Circular motion. Just dip back in a little. And then the temples. And then slightly the nose. Boop. And then, so that was powder and bronzer. And then for blush, I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics blush. In the shade Barely Legal, it's just like this pinky kind of peach tone bronzer. And I'm just going to use this angled blush brush. Don't know where it's from. Got it online. It doesn't say like a brand, so I'm not so sure. And I'm keeping this on my cheeks. And then kind of like blending it out. I love blush. I can't live without blush. Blush is kind of like dying a little, but I still use it all the time. Like even if I just want to put like a little makeup on, I still use blush and like highlight. So the highlighter I'm going to use, I just recently got. It's the Too Faced Candlelit Glow Bronzer. Why did I say bronzer? Highlighter! It's in the shade of Rosy Glow. I don't know if this is the only shade. I'm not sure, but this is the one I have. And it's like the it's a really pretty like can like chandelier on it. And there's two sides. There's like a more pearly side and there's a more pinky side. But personally, I like to mix the two. So I'm gonna take this tapered highlighter brush from Pro Fusion and then kind of just like mix the both sides. And then I'm gonna take my Too Faced primer, like three in one setting spray, and then just spray the brush just for more. And then just put that on the high points of my cheek, my face, high points of my cheeks. I'm obsessed with this highlighter. If I could recommend anything from this video, it's this highlighter. And the bridge of the nose. Temples, Cupid's bow, and then the chin, and then just apply a little more here. I love highlighter. Quick story, when I originally thought that people were using highlighter for makeup, I thought they were putting like actual like highlighter, like school highlighter, like they used to highlight your paper on your face. I was like, why are people doing that? I'm like, now I know, and I'm obsessed. So now I'm going to use the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas palette. Got this for Christmas and I'm obsessed with it and have been since. And I'm just going to take this kind of flat angled brush. Not flat angled, just this angled brush. And dip into the shade Bomb Diggity and Cray Cray, these two brown shades. Just for a transition. And we're going to keep the eyes looking dewy too, so... You know it's not a half ass makeup tutorial if you keep your eyes looking dewy too. And 
And then using the same brush, I'm going to go into that bronzer that we used. Uh, my nose is always itchy. I'm going to... I almost dropped that. I'm going to dip into that bronzer just to kind of add depth to the eyes and keep that on the outer V and kind of stamp it. I've been doing that a lot recently and Nikki Tutorials does that too. So I learned that from Nikki Tutorials, a queen influencer. If you want me to do like a makeup Q&A, like how I learned about makeup and how I started makeup, like, let me know. So I'm just adding depth to the eyes. I like that. I like that a lot. And now I'm going to use the Stila Glitter and Glow, I think this is. Yeah, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. It's in the shade of Rose Gold Retro. I'm obsessed with Rose Gold as of recently. So I'm just going to take the wand and just... And I'm going to let that dry. My prom is in a couple of weeks. So if you want me to do a, like a prom look, I could do that because I'm doing my own makeup for prom. Because I don't want to pay like a lot of money if I have like good products at my like of my own. And like I feel confident in my makeup skills to do my own makeup. So if you want to see that, let me know. I prefer waiting for these to dry because they are pretty sticky. Ooh. Ooh. Love. I feel like I kind of like got that all over. So I think I'm just going to take this like shadow brush from Echo Tools and just like blend it in. Okay, that worked. And now, the other eye. I'll just let that dry. doing these dry because if you don't and you just go look right in with another product kind of just like leaves a lot of mess and it's just really sticky so I like it to get tacky and then take like a large shadow brush and just kind of like blend that out to kind of like get it all over the lid and now I'm just going to take like a clean angled brush and just like go back and forth kind of mix all of it together kind of like blend it in nicely and I'm just going to take a bit, like the pigment that's left on the brush and just kind of like swoop it under my eye on the lower lash line not a lot just a little bit kind of keep it all defined and I think I'm going to go back into the highlighter I used, the Candlelit Glow. And then just take it on that angled brush. And then just dip into the white side. And then just, I'm going to do it in this way. So like I get it like a precise... I did get some fallout from the uh, Stilo under my eye, so I'm just going to go back in with some powder. Put 
probably should have done my eyes first. And I'm just going to take that damn beauty blender and just kind of like dip in. Okay, tip for next time I do this. Do your eyes first if you're going to use glitter because then it's just easy to erase rather than your whole makeup done. I'm just going to kind of wipe that away. And it drops. Yeah, it dropped makeup brush. So, I'm going to go in with mascara. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. And because I'm terrible at doing mascara, I'm going to use the mirror in my Laura Lee palette. So, literally just applying this, like, anyone would apply mascara. Just like a thin coat, not too much. mascara one eye always looks better than the other. Is that just me? Okay. So, mascara's done. I feel like that glitter under my eye is kind of bothering me. Oh well, it's a look. I don't want to like keep putting like product on and building it because then like my palette is just gonna crease. So like tip for next time, put do my eyes first. And now I'm gonna do lips. This is the Patrick Star X Mac collection, the first collaboration he did. Because I know he's on his second collection, he did a spring collection. And this is in the shade this is a lipstick in the shade Mama Star. It's just this really pretty kind of like moth. And I think it looked really pretty with this eye look. So. I love this color. I think this colors feel like all skin tones do. And setting spray. I'm gonna use the Master Fix. Uh, yeah, the Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray from Maybelline. And and I'm gonna take that giant powder brush and just kind of just stamp in, kind of just blend it. The setting spray. So sets. And that's the look. I'm gonna do like a close up. My hand's blocking the camera. So that's the final look. It's a dewy skin kind of summer makeup tutorial plot. Like, I have, like, the rose gold glitter under my eye. It's not so bad on this one, but mostly on this one. So, tip for next time, if I'm going to use this, I should really do my eyeshadow first. So, ooh, covering the camera. So, thanks to you guys. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And like, comment, subscribe. You know what you got to do. And I'll see you in my next one.